What are the professional characteristics of a respiratory therapist? That is what we're going to discuss in this video. First and foremost, to become a respiratory therapist, you must complete and graduate from an accredited respiratory therapy program. The tools and resources found on our website at respiratorytherapyzone.com can make that process easy for you. Then you must obtain the required professional credentials and you do that by passing the national board exams. Our study guides and online courses have already helped thousands of students do just that. To maintain good standing as a respiratory therapist and to keep your license and credentials active, you must participate in continuing education activities or also known as CEUs. CEUs are designed to help you stay current with the latest information and technology in the field of respiratory therapy. You must adhere to the code of ethics put forth by the institution or state licensing board or both. Respiratory therapists maintain the highest practice standards by joining professional organizations such as the AARC or American Association for Respiratory Care. Thank you for watching this video. For more helpful information, check out respiratorytherapyzone.com.